Hi guys, in this video we'll see how we could just use the concepts of polar coordinate system for solving such types of a problem. Then if you look over this animation, just this hydraulic cylinder extend and retract the road here and then the road by itself push and pull this slotted mechanism in this way and then the road had just a constant velocity and then the question is stated here as the positions of hydraulic cylinder give a spin a a constant velocity v equals to three feet per second in the direction shown for an interval of its motion for the instance when theta is equal to 60 degree determine r dot r double dot theta dot and then theta double dot where r equals to oa so this question just needs the concepts of polar coordinate system so you can simply calculate every intended required parameters here by using this concept now if you look over this animation you may just understand how the system is operated here and then the solutions will be calculated as follows so let's try to solve it now let's start from the given part in the given parameters there is a velocity of a is given as 3 feet per second and it is constant and then the other one is the required parameters will be evaluated at theta 60 degree and then the required parameters are just for evaluating r dot theta dot r double dot and theta double dot we have to evaluate all of this and then the other parameter is here we know that one feet is 12 inch so here is a 6 inch so if we convert it into feet it will become 0 0.5 feet because we have to change every parameters into the same unit once we have this let's just try to find out the radius r of the point from o up to a that's r here so this can be evaluated from the triangle for any triangle if this is theta and then if this is 90 degree now we know that this is 0 0.5 feet and then this is r the theta is given here is 60 degree so r times sine 60 degree is equals to the opposite sides of the angle and then it will become 0 0.5 that means r is equals to 0 0.5 over sine 60 degree and then it will become 0 0.577 feet this is the r parameter for this position and then the other one, once we have do this, we know that the velocity is in the left direction. Now for evaluating the r and theta components of the given velocity, we can decompose it into those intended directions. This one is er, and then this is the perpendicular one, and then this is e theta direction. And from the horizontal, we know that this is 60 degree. That means if it is 60 degree, it will become also 60 degree, and then this one will be 90 minus 60, and then it is 30 degree. And we know that the velocity is in this direction. The theta components of the velocity v theta is equals to v times cos 30 degree. This implies that velocity is 3 feet per second times cos 30 degree, and then Finally, v theta will become 2.6 feet per second. And then the other one, the other components of the velocity will be evaluated with this one. So 
v in the r direction will be equals to v times sine 30 degree but in which direction if you look the direction this one is a negative er direction so this velocity component will be decomposed into the negative direction because the positive one is greater than 180 degree so it will be negative so negative times v sine 30 degree will be velocity in the r direction and then it will become 3 times sine 30 degree negative and then vr will become minus 1.5 feet per second once we evaluate them we can easily evaluate theta dot and then r dot normally r dot is equals to v in the r direction and it is evaluated here so it will become 1.5 feet per second this is our answer and then for the theta dot we know that velocity in the theta direction is equals to r times theta dot which means theta dot is equals to v theta over r and then it will become 2.6 over r is 0 0.5 Seven seven, and then finally, theta dot become four point five rad per second. This is the answer. Evaluating r double dot and theta double dot, we have to evaluate the acceleration in the r direction and the, in the theta direction. Let's do that one now. If you look over here, the velocity is constant in this direction. That means. If the velocity is constant, there is no any acceleration in this direction. So the acceleration will be zero. So the only accelerations will be on the vertical axis. So if that is the vertical axis component, now if you just redraw the previous diagram, we know that this one will be the normal direction EN. And then for the particle, the perpendicular to this one will have a tangential direction et. We know this is 60 degree, but here, if you remember from the normal tangential coordinate system, the acceleration in the normal direction is always toward the centers of the curve, and then it will become an here. So an is in the directions toward this, the center that means it will be in this direction so a n is equals to tangential velocity square over a row and then the tangential velocity is equals to v theta and it is 2.6 so 2.6 the whole square over 0 0.577 and then it will become 11.7 feet per second square we know that there is a component of the normal acceleration here and then where will be just the magnitudes of the acceleration is it in the positive direction or in the negative directions of the vertical axis obviously since this component the normal acceleration component over this one that means over the 60 degree inclination will have some positive values here that means it will have in this direction so acceleration will be equals to an in the n direction plus a tangential in the et direction since the normal acceleration will have a positive value here if the directions of the tangential acceleration is in toward this in this positive et direction that means both values will be positive and then if you sum up them they will be greater than zero but if you know from the previous concept the velocity is constant and there is no acceleration in this direction that means the only option that the tangential acceleration will be in the negative tangential et direction that means it will be in this way so once we get the normal acceleration this one will be the magnitudes of the acceleration in the negative vertical direction and then if we decompose this one will be 90 degree and then this part 
toward these directions will be tangential acceleration and then this one will be a normal acceleration. That means if you take out this diagram, we will have an acceleration in this way, a normal acceleration in this direction, and then a tangential acceleration in this direction. This is perpendicular to each other. And then we know that this is 90 degrees, so it will become 30 degrees. Acceleration times cos of t degree is equals to normal acceleration and acceleration time sine 30 degree will be equals to tangential acceleration from the first equation here we can evaluate the acceleration acceleration will become normal acceleration divided with cos 30 degree and then it will become the normal acceleration is evaluated here is 11.7 so 11.7 divided with cos 30 degree and then it will give us 13.51 feet per second square and the tangential acceleration is a times sine 30 degree which is equals to 13.51 times sine 30 degree and then it will become 6.755 feet per second but what about the directions of the tangential acceleration is it positive or negative since it is in the negative et direction the tangential acceleration is negative that means it will be the negative sign so tangential acceleration will be negative 6.755 and then the total acceleration is 13 0.51 feet per second square. Now, once we have this, we can evaluate r double dot and theta double dot. From the polar coordinate system, we know that acceleration in the r direction is equal to r double dot plus r times theta dot squared. This implies that r double dot is equal to a r minus r theta dot squared if we substitute the numerical values we can get the r double dot if we just decompose the directions into this way we know that this is en direction and then at the core linear line we will have er direction and this is perpendicular to this axis this is E theta direction and then at the same time it is a tangential direction that means we know that this is a n and this is a tangential for polar coordinate system this is a theta and then in this direction we'll have a r if you look over the graph a n and a r are the same but in different direction that means a r is negative a n it will become negative 11.7 feet per second square and the other thing if you look for a theta direction since we are considering a theta as a positive in this way, but it is on the negative direction, that means it is in the negative e theta direction, so it will become equal to 80, and then it is negative 6.755 feet per second square. Now both accelerations are negative with respect to the polar coordinate system. Once we evaluate them, we can simply Calculate r double dot and theta double dot from a polar coordinate system. We know that r double dot is equal to a r minus r theta dot squared. That means r double dot will become, once we put the numerical value, it will become 11.7 minus 0 0.577 times 
4.5 squared and then it will become oh sorry we just make some mistake here this is not a plus sign this is a minus sign that means ar will be r double dot minus r theta dot square which means r double dot will be ar plus r theta dot squared that means still be a plus sign once we substitute the numerical values we can get negative 1.83 feet per second square so this is our answer and then for theta double dot for this part let's see this acceleration in the theta direction is equals to r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot which means theta double dot will be equals to a theta minus 2 times r dot theta dot over the coefficients of theta dot is r so theta double dot can be evaluated with this equation now the only thing is just substituting the numerical values that means theta double dot will become a theta is is negative 6.755 minus 2 times r dot and then r dot is minus 1.5 times and then theta dot is 4.5 divided with r is 0.577 once you calculate this numbers you can get as theta dot is 11.7 rad per second square this is our answer